ESA science missions are expanding our knowledge of the planets in our solar system, the stars in our galaxy and what lies beyond. And European science is at the forefront of this exploration, be it on board Mars Express, navigating Saturn and its moons with the Cassini spacecraft, or the Rosetta mission that's currently heading towards a rendezvous with a comet in 2014. The achievements are many, but two missions in particular, both launched at the same time, are producing exciting and very different insights into the nature of our universe. The Herschel Space Telescope and the Planck Surveyor. Well, Herschel and Planck both are actually putting Europe as leaders in the world in their respective areas of science. But uh, uh, Herschel is the largest ever launched telescope and is discovering a lot of uh, things in the area of the cold universe, in understanding how stars and planets form. On the other hand, Planck is providing now us with a database of information to understand the primitive universe, how the universe was formed, and this is done through the observations of the relic of the past universe, which is what we call the cosmic microwave background. The cosmic microwave background is the first light that was emitted by our universe around 380,000 years after the Big Bang. As the universe expands, more and more galaxies and stars are being formed. And the Gaia mission, to be launched next year, will provide a three-dimensional map of one billion stars in the Milky Way. This will allow us to understand its structure, how our own galaxy formed, and how it evolved. While the future Euclid mission will investigate dark energy, about which we know very little, even though it makes up most of our universe. Closer to home in 2015, Europe will launch Bepi Colombo, the first multi-spacecraft mission to Mercury, which, even though it's a much smaller planet, has a magnetic field like the Earth. The Solar Orbiter mission shortly afterwards will study the Sun and the JUICE mission will explore Jupiter's icy moons and examine their potential for hosting life. The essential thing that we need in the science programme is stability. Stability is the strength of the science programme because stabilities provide the capability to uh, do the planning of the programme for uh, a balance distribution in scientific domains but also in a continuous support to industry that because we are providing in the science program not only excellent science but also uh, very good challenges because we need new technologies we need innovation in science we are always at the forefront of what is possible and for that we need a stability in the preparation so that Europe is kept at the leadership that we have achieved now Europe's space science and robotic exploration of the solar system promotes international collaborations and fosters European industry by developing world-class technology. It also provides an insight into how the Earth was formed and unveils the mysteries of our diversely beautiful cosmos and our own place in the universe.